Jim. <laughs> so, I think a lot of the candidates before me have said a lot of what I wanted to say, and it's just because it's staring us straight in the face. A little bit about me, for what it's worth. I, I've been in Knox my entire life, all 27 years of it. Um, youngest candidate running for city council this year, and probably in our winter quick moment. And this is something, in all honesty, I, I've thought about doing this for a decade. I, I thought about running for office when I was about 17 years old. I uh, was incredibly involved in, in leadership and service from a young age, and I, I always thought this was a way to give back. And I, I told myself two things. I would do this at some point in my life when, when I was ready and it was the right time. You know, I came to a point after I'd left Knoxville for a few years, moved back, that I was in a position to give. And then just as Jim and some of the other candidates have said, I, I will peek behind the curtain. You don't have to peek for too long to see what's going on. Over 60 vacancies in KBD. Record high murder and crime. $13 million deficit in our budget. Voters that don't get calls and emails back from their city council representatives. Uh, it's the lack of leadership. And at the end of the day, like, City council is not sexy. We, we do roads and police and fire and parks. But the unfortunate reality of the situation is we've gotten so far away from that. We're spending a half a million dollars on, on artwork and beautifying sidewalks when our police officers are just sitting there asking for help. They're working 12 hour shifts. They're getting call logs that they can't fulfill. Our priorities are out of whack. And the reality of the situation is this. This is our chance. If you guys go back historically and look at city council races, what you have up here has not ever happened. Eight years ago, two people challenged the incumbents, and which it wasn't even an election. Right now is the time for us to set the stage. You have five candidates, myself included, have been out there every day working for months and months and months on end to get spread this message and make voters aware. But the reality of the situation is this: is that we cannot do this alone. Sitting in this room with ourselves, you know, everybody in here is all, all for us right now. We need 10,000 other people to feel the exact same way over the next three weeks. And we got two situations that are gonna occur most likely. You know, we, maybe some of us make it on, but the, the likelihood of that is low. Our goal is can we motivate enough voters that can see what's going on and say, hey, this is enough. We cannot stand for this direction anymore. Or we don't do that. You know, we can win this or we can lose this. And what happens if we lose? It's just gonna continue on. And I, what I sincerely worry about is we're gonna look back in five to 10 years and say, why did we not do anything? Guys, like, we're, trying to do, we're trying to do it right now. This is the chance. And just like Jim said, we need people to get motivated. This is a matter of a lot of people doing a little bit. For us to make our community better and our city better and get it back on track, it is time to take action. You know, I appreciate every one of you guys being here to listen and spread the message. I'm fortunate to have been a part of this journey with these other people and, you know, come November 2nd, hopefully uh, we get some good results. Thank you.